Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this one was pretty much requested since forever. And so today I'm not only going to be showing you guys my eyebrow routine, but five ways you can do them. I hope you guys can learn from this. So these are my brows. They're pretty thin and sparse, but that's about to change real quick, okay? <laughs> so first, you'll definitely need a spoolie to brush and guide you in the direction you want your eyebrows to go in. And in my regular routine, I usually brush my eyebrows a certain way. I call this the upside down motion. So let's do that over again. You're going to brush the front of your hair upwards and then the midsection, you just brush them right across. And then when you get to your tail, you just brush them down. And then clean up any hairs that are in place. So up, side, then down. So I got this free spoolie from Sephora and instead of using a brow gel, I like to use a bar soap remains because it holds your eyebrows down throughout the whole day. It's affordable and it happens to be in my local store called My Home Bathroom for free, na na na. Okay. So now I'll be showing you guys how to do the first brow. This one's called a flicky dicky baddie with a bit of class, okay? <laughs> so now you're gonna use your soapy spoolie to brush your eyebrows in the up side down motion. And after you've done that, you're going to make sure to clean up any hairs that aren't in place. So for my brows, I like to use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown and an angle brush from wherever this is from. I honestly can't remember, uh, but you want to make sure that it's flat and sharp. I'm now going to dip the brush into the product and then wiping the excess because you want to be able to build up rather than just starting off with too much. I'm now lightly filling in my brows starting from the middle part of my brow working my way out. And as you can see there's barely any product on that brush. Now I'm going to speed up the process and fill the rest of my brow in the up side down motion. Oh, and make sure to brush your hairs throughout the process, that way the product can be spread out evenly. Also, be sure to have close to no product when filling the front of your brow, that way it can give you that faded effect. Do you see the difference? Yes. <laughs> so you're now going to use your favorite brow powder. I literally bought this random one from my local beauty supply store, and this step isn't really necessary, but I like to keep my eyebrows matte and HD, it just gives me a fuller look, you know? And I also like having the tails of my brow pretty dark. It just gives me a nice faded ombre effect. Now I'm about to use my LA Pro Concealer and this brush which came in a no-name brand makeup brush set I brought from AliExpress. And I also make sure that it's as flat as possible so the application is smoother. I've now picked up some product in the brush ready to apply. And if you're a beginner, please do make sure that your uh, brush is a flat brush. That way it's easier for you to apply. So after you've concealed the bottom of your brow, it's important that you drag the concealer down so it does not look ratchet, okay? Having a halo is overrated and it's not cute. So I'm now going to mix my foundation with my concealer instead of getting a darker concealer because what better way to save money, okay? And also make sure to drag it out as well. That way it blends in with the rest of your foundation when you do apply your foundation. I'm now cleaning up the front of my brows on an angle to give me a cleaner look. And there you have it people, look at that. So this next eyebrow look is a clean, simple arch. And again, you will be using the soap method to brush your eyebrows into place. This time we'll be brushing them in one direction like a rainbow. Which is most likely how your eyebrows grow out anyways. And like before, I'm going to be sweeping any hairs that aren't in place. 
So now I'm just going to fill up my brows with a bit of product starting from the midsection and then working my way out while gradually adding more pomade. And again, make sure to brush out your brows, that way the product is spread out evenly. And again, you will continue to build up on product until you get the look that you desire. So as you can see, I wanted them dark and thick. Then I'm going to apply that same concealer underneath, making sure to raise the arch of my brow while dragging the product downwards. Also, do make sure to apply that concealer very carefully underneath, that way you don't have too much of a dramatic arch, unless you are going for that look. And with that same technique, apply the concealer and try your best to align the top arch with the bottom one. And also don't forget to spread the product by dragging it out as well as brushing your eyebrows in the process. So because I wanted a deeper arch, I am now applying a little bit more concealer at the bottom. And I am now pulling that concealer towards the front and then dragging it downwards. So voici la différence, you can tell one's thicker and one's higher with an arch and is also thinner. I am now adding more concealer and sharpening the tail of my brow for those of you guys who like that sharp, short look. So the next brow is called yes girl these are mine <laughs> and this method is basically going to give you a much more natural and feathery look and this time I'm going to be using my soapy spoolie to brush all my hairs sort of diagonally upwards while putting a bit more pressure so that my eyebrows can actually stay that way and plot twist this time I'm going to be applying my concealer first and outline the shape uh, that I want for my brows and of course then drag and spread the product Now you're going to be doing the same thing for the top, but this time don't add any more concealer. Just use the residue that's already on the brush. We don't want it to look too clean up. And now with just the dip brow pomade residue from the last eyebrow, I'm just going to very lightly fill up my brows, starting by bridging the gap between my sparser areas, as well as shaping at the bottom and then filling my brows in the same direction as already going in. Remember to continue doing very light strokes and keep adding more product only if needed. And when you get to the front of your brow, you're going to literally use close to nothing to fill it out. Then of course, brush the hairs out. Now I'm going to go over the concealer because I'm a perfectionist <laughs> and here's the final look. So you can now definitely see the difference between both brows. And of course feel free to keep cleaning up if you have to. So this fourth eyebrow is called be ready for questions because be ready for people to keep asking you girl how do you get your eyebrows to fade like that are y'all ready to slay the fade okay so i'm brushing my brows downwards but with a lot of pressure and then cleaning it up with the spoolie like so 
then brushing the front of my hairs diagonally upwards. Now your eyebrows already created a guideline for you, so just start tracing over it starting away from the front of your brows. And then keep filling in your brows in the same direction your brows are going. Again, brush your eyebrows downwards and then clean it up. Okay, so you've barely touched the front and keep it that way by taking whatever is left on your brush to lightly fill out the front. Now using the darkest shade, I'm going to be filling my brows with a brow powder to create a more denser look for the ends of my brows. You want to stay away from the front of your brow or else you won't be able to get that nice and faded look. Now you're going to take your concealer and then apply that starting from the midsection, working your way out. Then lightly drag the rest towards the front, then drag downwards and then blend. Now I could have just left my eyebrows like that, however, you want that very clean and groomed look. Once you've cleaned out your brows, just drag them out and blend. You guys get the gist. If you want your eyebrows looking this way, you need to become a perfectionist. And with that said, keep brushing and cleaning until you get that perfect look. And there you have it people, let the questions begin. So please give this video a thumbs up if you're still watching this video. And finally, this last brow is called, ain't nobody got time for that. For those of you who are always in a hurry but still want their eyebrows looking poppin', okay? So you're just going to get a regular amount of product and conceal the bottom to your desired shape. Then of course, drag it downwards and then spread it out. Now I'm just going to do the same thing for the top and align my arch with the bottom one and spread out the concealer. Now start filling in your brows lightly in the way your natural hairs are growing in. Please don't hesitate to retouch or clean up any areas if you have to. Then of course, brush it out. And so again, this type of eyebrows for those of you who really don't have any time but really want to look cute or just want to keep it simple. So I've removed the makeup and again, as you can see, they are pretty sparse. I don't know why, but I started losing hair on my brow a few months back and so I've been using this tea tree oil I got from my local beauty supply store. I used to use castor oil, but it's just too thick and strong for me. I usually use this at night on a cleaned face before I go to sleep, but this product has been really working for me. If you enjoyed this video and thought it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!